Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're discussing the Beatitudes, and this time, the first. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 5, 3. There are really a few ways that I've heard this verse interpreted, two that have something to them, I think. First off, though, let's get the small fry out of the way. I've heard some people say that this verse refers to a blessing for those in actual economic poverty, because the word for poor, as originally used, refers to the opposite of wealth. These people are ignoring the quite obvious fact that Jesus follows this up with in spirit, and he didn't need to do that if he was referring only to the economic poor. Claiming that this verse refers only or primarily to those in economic poverty is simply a misinterpretation, perhaps even an abuse of this verse. Now the other options. It's possible that this verse refers mainly to humility, to a policy of submission to the will of God and his authority. However, another of the Beatitudes specifically refers to this sort of thing by blessing the meek. So it seems a bit unlikely that Jesus would bless the same group twice with different descriptive terms. Still, I think this is the most likely to be the correct interpretation. There's one other explanation that I've heard for the term poor in spirit. It may refer to a spiritual willingness to endure poverty or similar conditions to poverty. The poor face suffering, constant struggle to survive, cravings, unfairness, and at times the loss of things and people dear to them. While we may not be in situations where we actually experience these things, just being willing to endure them for the sake of doing the will of God can be a good thing too, even a better thing than actually enduring these pains without the willingness to obey God. Whether the term poor in spirit means humble or willing to endure suffering on behalf of God, the promise of this beatitude is plain. The kingdom of God is clearly heaven, the place of eternal joy, and freedom from the sufferings of this world. Next time, what is meekness? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.